So, question. Do these predator channels, CC unit, people versus pred, whatever Rami's calling his next channel, do they do more harm than good? And there's two ways to look at it. In a sense of no, because if they didn't sit there and intercept these people going after these miners and stuff like that, then it could have ended really bad for a lot of these potential victims. So in a lot of ways, they are doing good. Not just by stopping them before they do something harmful, but also exposing them. So this way, their community, their family, their friends, their jobs, whoever can know what kind of person that they are and know how to sit there and deal with them accordingly. Because prayers come in all different shapes and sizes. You know, there's no specific, it comes from women as well. You may not sit there and see them as often, but it does happen. So in a lot of ways, they are doing God's work, the community a favor, so on and so on. But then there's a flip side to that, right? Because for every good catcher, um, like CC unit, there's always bad ones, like people versus prize that will go in these establishments or like um, protect the innocent that will go in these establishments and curse out the workers, curse out the cops, be really disrespectful to the people that are just basically smitty trying to do their jobs to go out to these preds. Now, I give all of them their credit and their respect for doing a lot of this stuff that other people couldn't do, right? But that doesn't entitle you to treat everyone else around you like dirt because they may not believe in what you're doing is right or they're just simply there doing their jobs. And then there's another issue. Well, there's actually a couple of issues with it. One, it drives these people further underground because a lot of times when they sit there and they catch these people and they give them the evidence. The problem is a lot of the DAs won't take it because they, they generally can't, you know? If it's not caught by law enforcement and handled in a certain way and it's handled by civilians, there's just too much that can go wrong, right? Most likely these people will sit there and get out and just reoffend and buy their time and do it again. So and it's, it's not like it's not like the cops aren't sitting there doing the same thing that these people aren't doing. You know, we may not see them doing it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't get done, right? There's a right way to sit there and handle this stuff that's done by the professionals that will sit there and take it to the DAs and and put these people in jail. And then there's the way that some of these people do it. Now they might actually have the best intentions, most of them. But at the end of the day, if they can't use the evidence, they just walk, they move, they, they lie low, and then they do it again. Why? Because instead of you actually having the cops do their job, you decide to do it and botch the case, and now they're just free to sit there and do it again. There's just issues with that. Now, one of the videos that I saw of um, People vs. Pred. Right? The reason why what they do can go so wrong is, remember the video where they caught that guy who was high on candy, right? Who kept talking about, oh, I have to poop, I have to poop, I have to poop, this, that, and the third. So he treats the workers that, are, that don't really know much about the situation like garbage, right? Like they're the bad guys. At some point, this guy gets in his car and crashes into another car, crashes into like, I don't know, a tree or something like that. And the thing is, if there were people around and God forbid somebody got hurt, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's partly responsible because in all reality, he could have took all that evidence to the cops and had the cops sit there and take care of him. But instead, he decided to do it himself. Now this guy is 
frantic. He's running around. He gets in the vehicle. He drives. He starts hitting stuff. And another local civilian has to stand talk with this guy. But he could have hurt or killed God knows how many people in the process. Why? Because he decided to sit there and take the law into his own hand. You know, this is the reason why Justin Payne always calls himself a vigilante, because he knows exactly what he is. Now, of course, you know, Justin Payne, um, the Canada Batman of um, prey catching. So in the end, it's a yes and a no answer to that. You know, on, on one hand, they, they do do good. And for every questionable catcher like Rami, like People vs. Pratt, which is still going, you have some good people like CC Unit and Hell. Even um, Alex from, from, from Pratt Catchers. You know, he started off, you know, doing it in just the most messed up way possible to a point where it made other catchers look bad. But now he's actually pretty good at what he does. He makes it a lot, you know, he, he does it a lot better. And he gets these people to admit things that I'm just like, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm glad that he's admitting all this stuff. He's, they're admitting all this stuff so this way they can go to jail for a very long time. People know exactly who they are. But he's come a long way. And I got to sit there and give him his props. But I'm very... I don't want to sit there and say flip-flop. I can see both sides of it. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think groups like CC Unit and, and again, whatever Rami's calling his next channel, um, um, Protect the Innocent, which is still going, by the way, do you think that they actually do more harm than good? Or do you think that they're actually just that they're doing good and for every catch that's bad, there's always... Like at the end of the day, the um, positive outweighs the negatives. Let me know in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video.